Keith, the thing I search for is when we have such diversity in religion, is that a sign of the bankruptcy of truth or is it a sign of a fundamental core essence that all of these religions somehow sense? Well, I have to say that's a controversial issue. So what I'm going to say might be disagreed with by some people, uh, and that's just part of the way that it is. But I do think there is a core sense to religion, and that core sense is that uh, in human life it's important to seek to be non-egoistic, to be non-self-centered, and to achieve relationship to, or even union with, a spiritual reality of compassion and goodness. Okay, so I think that's, that's a core notion. And most religions are seeking to do that. So they're committed to the belief that there is a reality of compassion and goodness. Now they construe this in different ways. So the Christians who talk about God, there's a reality of compassion and goodness, yes, no trouble. Buddhists who don't have God still say there is a reality of compassion and goodness, but they call it nirvana. And they don't think of that in a personal way. So what you might do is make a big contrast between Christians who think of a personal God, even the man with the beard, and Buddhists who say, no, we have no God at all, there's just this impersonal state of nirvana, and it looks like a big clash. But actually, when you read uh, the greatest writers and the thinkers of these traditions, you find out, say Aquinas <clears throat> in Christianity, you find out that he says God is not as personal as you think, God is the ultimate essence of all reality. And the Buddhist then might say, well, uh, I wouldn't call that God myself, but, you know, uh, I suppose we believe in that in, in a way. We just don't call it a person. So actually, at the level of theological reflection, the concepts, though they're different, are not just contradictory. They're more complementary, more different ways of approaching something. They all admit to be very mysterious and at the limit of human thought.